And Sarah, good to have you back on. It's an important question because a lot of this market, whether it's 10% or 90%, has been Fed driven. Do you think Jay Powell and company are going to do anything to take their foot off that accelerator, if you will? Good morning, Brian. And no, I don't think um, one set of data is going to change course. Um, still, we are still in the midst of some really um, bad numbers in terms of being off the mark, uh, in terms of what, what the Fed needs to be looking at. Uh, the, the unemployment is still really quite high. Um, we are still in the middle of it. Um, I'm afraid. And while the job numbers might have been um, uh, working and looking as if they're moving in the right direction, they are just one set of numbers. Um, and I should also point out that they're one set of numbers that may have some error um, laced through them. And that is also something, measurement error, that, that the Fed has to look at carefully in terms of understanding really how reliable they can be. So what the Fed is yeah. going to be looking to today is what is happening on the ground. Uh, yes, there um, are parts of the economy that are opening up, and that is um, that is that is going to be a good a good thing from the perspective of economic health. But um, what that's going to mean in terms of bringing people back to jobs, um, in terms of bringing back the economy, yeah. that remains to be seen. And our colleague Steve Leisman's done a great job of sort of going into sort of that wonkiness of the data and how they collect it. And, and with, but with all due respect to that, that May number, Sarah, I'm more concerned about May of 2021. You know, in the short term, we're going to have all these discrepancies, people coming back. It is going to be messy. The data is going to be very messy. I think we can all agree on that for the next few months because of all these vagaries of how you record it. Let's look a year out. Do you think that the Federal Reserve understands that the economy has a lot of work to do long term, no matter how quickly we all get back to work? Because it's going to be months, if not years, before we, we, we get through the entire cycle lockdown. You're exactly right. I mean, the economy is not an on-off switch. It's not as if, you know, one day you can send everybody home and have them stay home and the next day have them come back and resume without missing a beat. Uh, there are going to be long-term consequences to what we are going through now. And while it's hard to know exactly what things will look like in May 2021, the actions, the, the, the extraordinary actions that the Fed has taken um, uh, primarily through March, through April, are going to be with us for a long, long time. What else can they do? So it's a great question. And, and certainly Chairman Powell has hinted that there are some other tricks up his sleeve, so to speak. Um, there are some discussions um, in the realm of something called yield curve control, okay? And this is the idea of setting a particular yield on treasuries and then buying up uh, the amount of treasuries you need to hit that yield. It's another tool, again, has not been tried in the U.S. Now, of course, the Fed is doing a lot of things during this pandemic that um, have not been tried before. Um, certainly buying up corporate ETFs is one of them. So corporate bond ETFs. So there's quite a bit that's happening. 11 facilities, right? Some of which have not been engaged in before. But still, the Fed is talking about uh, the possibility that it has more tools, that it could be doing more things. And if the economy worsens or stays uh, in this position longer than the Fed is thinking it should, I wouldn't be surprised if the Fed tries something yet again new. 